Hello Sagittarius. This is Asnoinche here. Welcome to the channel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. And I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. And I'll be doing this, um, as some of you already know, through my higher intuitive self that is mostly, not my soul, but my spirit. Um, some of you already know a little bit about me. So you may have a look. I know some people have commented and they have mentioned that I'm channeling evil spirits. Um, I actually don't. I have packages that actually help you remove them. So you'll notice in my room, I do not have any orbs that fly around. They don't come here. So these messages right now are not being brought to you by angels, but it's my higher intuitive self, which is, and many of you can read up about me and you could see how I'm able to do that. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. This is for those of you who have been in a relationship before. You could have been in a relationship. This could be a situationship. This could be somebody who you've simply exchanged glances with and you know that there's something there, something special, but nobody's speaking up. So something has already happened in this connection. Oh yeah. This is not the first time you're dealing with this person. Something has already happened and it's caused a problem now. Um, I'm saying that based on the type of cards that have come out. Here we have mothering followed by compassion, death and rebirth, fear, awakening, laughter, hearth and home, selfhood, and then we have grief under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest, Sagittarius, is feeling towards you currently. My dear Sagittarius, the connection that I have with you, I've realized is very nurturing. You are very nurturing, very caring, and protecting. I do feel that in this connection, there is a lot of abundance. The way I feel and think about you is like you are that person who loves me unconditionally. I can be close to you and I can do so many things, so many wrongs, but you always find a way to accept me for who I am. I've always felt this and unfortunately I've taken advantage of this too. I never really, what I did was I took you for granted. I took you for granted, accepting me back every single time every time something would go wrong. And I feel compassion for you, empathy, even sympathy sometimes for the things that you have gone through because of me. I know now that I have put you through a very hard time and you wouldn't have been in this situation had it not been for me. I do feel empathy, and sometimes even pity for what you're going through right now. But I know that I am the one who's done this. Right now, I feel that there is this desire to put to sleep all that happened before and to start something new 
something brand new, something that the world can see. I know now that many things that have happened between us, they were not good. I said certain things, I've done certain things, and they were not. I'm not happy about what I did. The road was very rocky back then. But going forward, I want to have smoother days ahead. Better days ahead. I want a second chance with you. But the connection that I have with you and the things that have happened, I now am afraid of many, many things. Even though I want to have a second chance with you, I feel now anxiety, fear. I don't feel as if the things that have happened in this connection, I don't feel as I should. I'm afraid and I've lost the confidence that I once had. I've lost that mojo. Right now I don't have a sense of security. I feel so insecure. I don't have any self-esteem anymore. I've lost it all. And it's only because I'm afraid of having this second chance with you and this is why, Sagittarius, I do not reach out. I'm afraid and I am nervous. And that is why I do not reach out. I do feel in this connection that there's this feeling of coming to life. I had this awakening moment. I never really recognized it before, but as time has gone by, I'm starting to see things differently in this connection. I have had an awakening moment. There's something about you that really does make me laugh. This is something that has happened. You make my heart happy. You know what makes me tick. Everything about you is like sunshine. And I know that the connection that both of us have has faded to some degree. But in my life, you are very close to me. I consider you very close. I find you to be very much like a best friend, a confidant. There's a spiritual connection that both of us have, and I feel that in this situation, things, we need to slow things down. I am also afraid and nervous now because I see you as somebody who is very independent. The time that we spent apart, those boundaries, they have changed your mindset. It looks like that to me. I see you now as somebody who is single and ready to mingle. Somebody who's thriving in life, ready to move on. I just don't know how I can approach you. And that is why I'm a bit paranoid and fearful. Because before I had a lot of confidence, and now I don't. But I also feel extremely intimidated now because you are no longer that person that you used to be. You are now somebody different. And what I feel is it's necessary for me to uncover this mystery now. Now you are a mystery to me. But I'm unable to uncover this mystery. I do feel that in this connection there is this understanding 
a long time ago that maybe there was this codependency. But things have changed. Things are no longer the way that they used to be. And overall, I realize the things that I've said, the things that I've done, the fact that I took you for granted. I feel guilty and remorseful and regretful over the things that I've said and done and even for the things that I've never said that I should have, for the things that I never did that I should have done. I am grieving because I feel like I've lost you forever. Now there will be darkness in my world if I lose you. With that darkness, I can't find my way home. I try to find my way home, but I can't. And I'm afraid that I'm going to lose you because of the way that I have treated you over this time. All right, Sagittarius. A few cards do pop out here a bit more than others. Definitely the death and rebirth card right next to the fear card. But then we also have you looking as though you are single and ready to mingle type of energy. And this makes this person even more nervous than they already are. You see, they're already nervous. But when they see you like this, where it's you're unapproachable, they, they cannot approach you. It's because they see you at a higher level now. You are no longer at their level. You have changed and evolved into somebody bigger and better than what you were before. This person, however, is still the same. They haven't really changed much. We have here the Lover's Path Tarot. I'm going to be pulling out whatever comes out. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Something that caused a problem in the first place. So something happened in this connection where feelings and emotions were there, but then things started to go downhill. So this is something that caused an issue. Some of you might know about this and some of you may not know. So we have here awakening and then we have a tradition. Okay. Let's have a look at awakening first. Here. We have here an unwillingness to accept affection and problems with children creatively blocked by external or internal forces and refusing to grow. So this is a huge problem. Yeah. It's funny they talk about problems with children, right? And by funny I mean very odd. It's not comically funny. Um, we have here problems with children. This is what this card talks about. But what's interesting is a tradition card right next to it up there that also talks about family. So for some of you, this is definitely a third party situation where children are a problem or dependents are a problem. Um, elderly people that are in the family, somebody who you have to take care of is a problem basically to this other person because they are not willing to accept for whatever reason. It could be finances. It could be because they had a traumatic experience, you know, with their grandma who died, so they don't want to deal with somebody that has another grandma. It could be anything. There's many reasons why people avoid certain things, right? Everybody has a reason. So there is something definitely here that happened in this connection 
where this person decided to not accept your affection the way you were giving the affection. There is, literally is an issue here. So for this reason, where we have this card, the awakening, a long while ago, this person had felt an emotional awakening. They felt love and sexuality, creatively being the feeling um, that there is going to be a family or relationships with children that are going to be good. But what happened was things changed and there, like this card says, the next card, tradition got in the way. There was an unwillingness to accept affection because there was problems with other people around this individual. Now it also says creatively blocked by external and internal forces. External could be other people causing problems and talking, rumors. Um, and internal could be internal trauma or issues that this person was already facing. So Sagittarius, this person probably would not have told you part of this stuff. And of course, keep in mind, this is a general love reading. It is not going to be 100% accurate, okay? This is just for the majority of you, the average. This is what cards are coming out, okay? It's not going to be personalized reading. Here we also have tradition. So let's have a look at that. Tradition. Hmm. Here we have a need to throw out old social structures that constrain fear of unconventional ideas and the ways of approach, non-conformity. So the gist of this card does talk about how this person is very aware of their public image and the desire to make it acceptable in society. However, what they truly want, and for some of you, very small portion, 2, 3, 23% of you, I'm seeing the number 23, might be important. Um, this individual thought that they could be with you in their way. They have a specific way. They may have, I'm getting the word open, open relationship. I'm just getting the word open. Um, but there is something here where this person was not able to express themselves fully because of the type of society and people that they're living with. And they want that to change. They want, they want their situation to be accepted in society. They want it to be accepted by you. What I'm getting here is there's some of you who have gone through a situation where this person might actually want you to leave your family and they want you to be very separate from what they would consider burdens and be with them in the way that they want you to be with them, if that makes sense. That is what I'm getting with this combination of both cards here. It's not good, actually, because this talks a lot about me, 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 what this person wants, the way they want it, when they want it. This is something that's going to have to change. And this is why the relationship started to go a bit downhill. And this is in recent times what this person's feeling, a very negative kind of feelings. It's, um, it's very selfish because the person is not thinking about the other person. So that's not good. All right, let's have a look at the Beginner's Tarot Deck. Oh, wow, okay, Three of Cups. Yes, for some of you, there's two things. We have here the Three of Cups. For some of you, this could literally be a reconciliation, but this, is, this could also be a third-party situation. 
or some of you. This person does want to reconcile either way. Um, they want to be with you. They want to celebrate with you. With the Ace of Cups, which is a beautiful card you have here is the next card. This person really does want to have a sense of forgiveness in this connection. Somebody here is going to say sorry and apologize. Somebody here is going to accept the apology. Now, what's also absolutely phenomenal. Holy shit. Are you serious? You guys, I don't think I've ever had such beautiful cards, eh? Look at that. I mean, that's pretty crappy, but look at these. Oh my God, you got Empress and you got the Ten of Cups. Wow. I've never seen such cards. They are so nice. Just to look at them, they just look pretty, don't they? Very, very nice. Very lush, very green, very healthy. Here we have the Ace of Cups. So yes, this person is going to make an offer of love. Sagittarius. This person's going to make an offer. 100%. The majority of you, the majority of you, something good is really happening here. This is crazy. Oh my God, like the storyline is insane. We have here three of cups. This person's going to want to reconcile. They're going to come back around. They're going to make an offer of love. Why? Because they think that you are the empress. They think that you are definitely marriage material or long-term committed material. You are somebody who is a long-term thinker, very nurturing, very caring, protecting, um, family oriented type of person family is an issue but this person just loves you like that's a that's kind of a bad thing but it's also a good thing because they're just focusing on you they know that you're a long-term thinker you're absolutely beautiful um, the feminine side of you even if it's a male is very nurturing very caring and while we we have the Ten of Cups. Many of you know Ten of Cups is just perfection when it comes to those emotions. Oh my goodness, this person wants to marry you. They want a home. They want kids. They want a beautiful yard with no weeds. I mean, this is beautiful. And for those of you that don't want to get married, that's fine. This person basically wants to live a life with you with a lot of promise and you have captivated their heart look at this the three of cups ace of cups the empress ten of cups haven't had that type of a reading i don't know since whenever this is amazing it's beautiful um we have here the nine of wands there's some unfinished business that this person has to go through okay that's what the, well, that's what's happening here they have some boundaries that are up, some boundaries that they know they have to get rid of, some boundaries they have to put up. But so much is happening that they're starting to become overwhelmed. They don't want this to get to the point where it becomes so overwhelming that they can't deal with it. They want to be proactive and they want to deal with it before it gets to the Ten of Wands. So behind the scenes, Sagittarius, this person is working, trying to create a better balance in this connection. What do I see? Yes, this person's going to reach out to you. And whatever it is, it is straight from the heart. Um, for some of you, if you're really resonating with this, like there's no, you don't have to, you don't even have to suspect this person. Like they're not acting. This is just too, this is straight from the heart, these feelings very very beautiful oh my goodness this is like i mean this would be it like if you want to settle down with somebody and if you want to marry somebody these are the cards that come out absolutely beautiful i could just sit and stare at these because i love the illustrations on these ones too they're just so nice i love this deck ah oh, it's so pretty hope all of this comes true All right, let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this. All right. So I'm going to shuffle a little bit more than I usually do, okay? Because I want to get some accurate answers. Um, 
Uh huh. Okay. Well, we got a yes. All right. And the way it came out, pretty interesting. Um. All right. Let's make this. Yes, you got a yes. Well, that's good. So they're telling you, yes, remain positive, Sagittarius. Very nice. For some of you, if you feel that you cannot because of negative energies, I do have um, a uh, package. It's called the Holy Light Package. Some of you already know it. That will help you get rid of negative energies. And once you get rid of negative energies, you will be able to retain and maintain that positive energy. So it's important to get rid of the negative energy in order to bring in and keep the positive energy. When I say energies, I actually mean entities, demons, spirits, jinns, things like that. All right. I have other ones too, if you want. You can have a look at the chakra checkup and you can also look at the negative energy. Usually chakra checkup is um, a bit better because I cover everything. I look into your home remotely when you're not, when you don't know that. <laughs> I see the amount of negative energies. I tell you what you have in your home, around your aura, and inside of your body. And then I teach you how to get rid of them. Oh, very interesting. Okay. All right. Now, Sagittarius, this is a really nice clear-cut message from the angels, archangels, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So they are saying, yes, remain positive. You will be able to take action when the timing is right. You will know when it is, but it's not now. There will be perfect timing. This is divine timing. For now, what they want you to do is get more information because no, the information that you have is not correct about this person, about the situation, about the people that are maybe surrounding this person. There is clearly here a reason why this card showed up. Get more information. They also say here, ask for help from others. So there could be something in this connection that you just don't see, that other people may see or recognize. People that have already been through a relationship like yours or type of problem that you are facing. And so it would be wise to speak to others who you trust, who have been there, done that, had successful relationships. You have to ask those particular people for help. This could also be get more information, ask for others for help. Others are also people that have created YouTube videos, people that are um, bloggers, right? Resources, books, things like that. So this is still by people. So it doesn't have to be a face-to-face -face conversation. You just do your research. Find out what it is that... Um, it's funny, sometimes we just literally open up a book and you just open up a page, but that page particularly resonates with you. Sometimes that happens with the Bible. There are certain things sometimes we see at a certain time and it's specifically meant for us to read or see or hear. Now, under the bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. You remember you had the Ace of Cups earlier, right? So definitely somebody here, remember the grief card. Oh my gosh, the grief card. Somebody is definitely going to ask for forgiveness. It's beautiful. I love it. This person's going to ask for forgiveness and you are going to forgive them. Provided you want to, you know, some of you might not want to forgive them. But keep in mind, forgiving is always good. Forgiveness is, you know, forgiveness and compassion in the Bible is the most biggest concept, you know, the principles of the Christ consciousness. Why is that? Because forgiveness, when you don't forgive somebody, it orbits around you like an, a, like an energy bubble, a negative energy bubble. So by getting rid of it, you burst that bubble and it's gone. Yes, we can't forget what's happened to us, but we can forgive. And sometimes the easiest way of forgiving is by understanding that, you know what? Having that compassion for somebody. They just didn't know any better. Some people do certain things for a reason. Their reason might not be valid. But in their brain, for some strange, twisted reason, they thought it was valid. It is hard to forgive people. 
and some of you might not want to. But even if you do, and you decide not to be with this person, that's still okay. It is important to walk away, but it's also important not to hold that type of um, negative energy bubble around your aura because we have a lot of negative energy that surrounds us every single moment of the bloody day and you don't need an extra one this is also why i've created some of the other packages the chakra checkup package as well as the holy light package um, to get rid of negative energies i also have the negative energy uh, package but i prefer um, helping people also get rid of the chakras so just to let you know, because the chakras are also affected by negative energies, just to let you know. So this person is going to come back into your life. There's going to be question mark, can you forgive me? Because I cannot live without you. Oh, that's so sweet. This person really, truly, oh my God, infinitely loves you. Infinitely. They love you so much, it's ridiculous. To the moon and back I'm getting. To the moon and back. All right. That, Sagittarius, as you're reading, it's truly very sweet. I love it. It's very nice. Um, hope it works out for everybody, yes. Let me know if any of this resonated. You know, this person does feel guilty. And they did something that really hurt you and they cannot live with themselves okay this is why they want to be back in your life because they just can't live with themselves they can't forgive themselves so you're gonna have to forgive them because they want to ask you for forgiveness so do what you need to do whatever makes you feel healthy and happy all right Saj that is your reading I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation do let me know. All right then. You all take care and stay safe. Bye now.